basically spent my entire career both in the genetics world and also the genetics world. So it's been a very interesting journey, but I've been very fortunate because a lot of work, what I've developed um, has come from my knowledge on the aesthetics industry. For example, a lot of our clients would often understand the benefits of going to the gym because it you know, reduces heart disease, reduces obesity. They understand the idea of a good, healthy diet because it helps you live longer, you feel wonderful. Yet, the people often wouldn't necessarily take action on their skin until they could see a problem which was very counterintuitive because they understand these, the, everything about prevention, but with skin, it was like, well, if I can't see it, it doesn't exist. Yeah, and, so it's so good, like, diving into, like, the depths of it, truly, like, where it all comes down to, because it's so much more than what we think. Is your, is your phone, like, resting on something? Because I'm kind of having a hard time hearing you. Well, look, I think it might be resting on something. <laughs> There you go. I feel like we're going to be able to hear you better. Um, Is that better? But to everyone who's here, I mentioned that we have a surprise today. And that surprise is we are doing a one day only 30% off sale on our skin DNA test. Um, there's like no coupon, no code needed. It's pinned right below. You can actually stop it during our live. Um, and we're going to actually go into like detail as to what that means, the skin DNA test. Because and no beauty, what really sets us apart is giving us the opportunity to combine your lifestyle and your genetic factors and give you the best, like, uniquely tailored skincare routine. Um, that's, like, what is so great about this company is, like, taking out the guesswork so that you know exactly what's going on with your skin um, and you know that you're doing the right thing for your skin now as well as later. Um, so, like, your skin DNA is, like, really important to your skin care. Um, that, so I feel like you can speak to that a bit more. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, look, that's right. Like, I often get asked all the time. So, you know, can you give me a number? How much of my, you know, skin aging is to do with lifestyle? Is it, you know, 70%? Is it 80%? I mean, how much is genetics? And, you know, it's interesting. But look, the reality is it's 50-50. And that's something most people don't realize. So 50% of how your skin ages is to do with your genetics. Um, and look, if I were to give a, a very, very simple example, um, you know, genetically, your body can make melanin and pigmentation. Um, however, it's the lifestyle that activates it. So going into the sun being the lifestyle factor is actually what activates that genetic component. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, so let's let's show you guys what this kit is exactly. It comes like this little cute little package. You open it up and we've got basically <laughs> our directions um, and these test swabs. I'm not going to do them now because I'm actually saving this for a friend so he can do it. Um, but you literally take the swabs out. You swab the insides of your cheek. There's a little envelope. You put it in and then you put it back in the box. There is a return label. You throw that back on and you put it in. It's so easy. Um, so then once you do that, you eventually get your results which i have here because i've already done this um and it goes into these seven seven core gene categories oh no sorry these six. um and it will show you these numbers and there's these seven different things but like you know you don't know what that means so <laughs> let's break it down a little bit um so like here i maybe you can talk about the seven core genes. yeah no absolutely so look when we talk about skin aging firstly there's no one size fits all so everybody is different and this is essentially what we've done we've wanted to break down all the core areas of skin aging to look at things like glycation, skin laxity, uh, collagen production, pigmentation, skin inflammation, um, it, and even skin antioxidants. And the idea is knowing what your scores are in each of those categories can basically allow you to pinpoint what your aging strategy is going to be. Totally. Yeah. So like I have like hyperpigmentation here it says I, I scored perfectly for hyperpigmentation but like 
lower for sensitivity and elasticity. So like, how, how can I have a 100 hyperpigmentation? Like, what does that mean? <laughs> well, look, I think first of all, hyperpigmentation, clearly you're flawless. So I think we can, we can both establish that. <laughs> Um, no, but, but like it's it's so true about like lifestyle and stuff correct. because I I travel so much and I'm in cities that are really polluted and like if my skin doesn't have the right antioxidants then like it's not being able to wear as like a protectant towards the world around me. That's right. And look, I, I think with this, we actually have our parents to think because when we talk about pigmentation, a lot of it is it's not about the color of your skin. It's about how well your body responds to the environment. And I know you, you're half Filipino, so your mother has naturally dark complexion. My yeah. mother's Mauritian, so she's got darker complexion. So from a pigmentation perspective, when we're exposed to different environments, our body can actually naturally cope genetically to um, not necessarily produce uh, pigmentation. Interesting. Okay. So then like, I've scored 70, I mean, 46 for sensitivity, which is like, definitely a lot lower than 100 um, and, like my entire life i've like really struggled with finding products because it'll work for my friend and i'll try it and i like put it on and it burns and i'm like yeah. it can't be good for me um but like how do i know like from our tests like do how to move forward like how to implement that yeah. So look, with inflammation, I mean, that's one of the main causes of skin aging. So generally skin sensitivity, the more it's um, sensitive, the more desensitized it is to the environment, the more damage that happens. So look, where we go with the DNA test is we can basically help let you know if you have certain sensitivities that will trigger when you use certain ingredients. And the idea then is to you know, be aware that these ingredients are causing sensitivity. So here are an alternative set of ingredients that we know won't cause skin to become inflamed. So it's more about that knowledge aspect and really yeah. understanding that maybe I should steer a different direction because of the inflammation that might actually happen if I use my friend's products. <laughs> yeah, it seems so harmless and then you do it and then it's like, oh, maybe that wasn't a good idea. That's it. <laughs> um, and then it says my elasticity was 48, which had me concerned because I'm like, I'm trying to stay tight, honey. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, so look, yeah, when it comes to elasticity, so what's interesting about this is a lot of this is to do with, I suppose, lifestyle and again, genetics. Yeah. But here it's more about, um, unfortunately, as we age, gravity does take over um, and we lose a structural issue. And what we can actually identify from your genetics is if this is going to be a problem and if this problem will happen sooner. And knowing all this before it actually happens, we can basically help put you onto a path to say, well, if we know this is going to happen based on your genetics, these types of ingredients and treatments are going to help strengthen and firm that skin to help basically uh, reduce and slow down these aging issues as we get older. So again, it's all about knowing uh, before it actually happens. Yeah, totally. I, it's just, it's so nice to know. I, do. I feel like there's so much power in knowing like where your skin is at and where it's headed. Well, that's it. I mean, look, a lot of people don't know it, but you know, this is a one-time test. So people say, well, do I need to take it again? And the answer is no, because your genes never change. And so the earlier you are, the, the better off you're going to be in the future by knowing before things happen. It's like, it's save yourself the drama and the stress and just do it sooner than later so you don't have to worry about it when you get to that time. And if you didn't, you'd be like, what are these things that I see? that are different or like why is my skin freaking out we can like figure out if that's lifestyle or so you can use that and implement it because like we're all trying to be flawless right <laughs> that's it um, so i mean look we love our parents uh but we don't necessarily want to age like our parents and we're a very different generation so yeah. by knowing yeah. things early we can basically help ensure that we as much as we love them, don't end up with their skin because we know what they've done when they were younger and we definitely okay. don't want to do that. We have the opportunity to be smarter, so let's be smarter. That's exactly <laughs> um, right. <laughs> so basically, after you do this test, you will have your results back and we'll suggest these, these items that work great for your skin. So for me personally, I have my 
refined cleanser, which is great for all skin types, but it's really good for antioxidant protection. Um, and because my lifestyle is so crazy, I'm like, that really like helps me out a lot. And it's hydrated um, because of the hyaluronic acid. Then I also use rejuvenating night serum, um, which is great for skin elasticity because no, I'm trying to stay tight. Um, the retinoid helps a lot with that. I feel like the vitamin C as well. Like, I love the vitamin C. Um, and then our calming day moisture, which is great for sensitivity. There's hemp extract in that, and that is actually really good for reducing inflammation. Great for sensitive skin. There's calendula flour in it. Did I say that right? Calendula? Okay, sounds right. However, I'm Australian, so my <laughs> accent would be very different to yours. Anyway. Yeah, you're like calendula <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and chamomile. Um, so it's like super, super calming. It like reduces redness. Like just, it feels great. So good for your skin. Um, so yeah, that's basically what we do here. So you can once again shop below on the DNA kit. Go over to our website at nobeauty.com. Um, if you're if you're interested in knowing your skin, like it's thirty percent off today, only for the next twenty four hours. Um, so I hope you guys learned a little something. I hope you take the step to get to know your skin because it really is so important, you know, rather than like waiting until it's too late and feeling like you gotta stick needles in your face. Like let's right. be preventative now because like we we can. Um, so yeah. I you guys enjoyed so fun thank you so much for talking to me anytime um, and thank you to everyone who tuned in <laughs> all right take care guys bye yeah.